These are your common arguments. Number one, having kids is by definition selfish because you're propagating your genes. Unless you've left a mark on history, having children is the only way you'll be remembered beyond the grave, both physically and metaphysically. Children are basically a diluted form of immortality. Number two, you will be unconditionally loved. When you wake up every morning, it'll be to a face that is genuinely happy, happy to see you. No one will ever look at you the way your child does. I'd miss 10,000 sunsets for that look. Number three, your children will take care of you when you're old. You're less likely to be surrounded by your exotic bird collection rotting in your home for weeks because no one noticed or cared. Many of us have become so short-sighted that we forget how physically vulnerable people become with age. Without a young family around you, you will be adding to the dust in a retirement facility. Number four, you get to see a human develop from start to finish. I can't stress how incredible this is. Every day is filled with discovery. Where did he pick that up? Is that an innate or learned behavior? Holy shit, that's exactly what his father does. You made someone and now you get to watch that someone become something. It's pretty wondrous. Number five. Kids are fun. You get to act like an idiot for most of the day. You get to read all your favorite books and all, watch all your favorite movies. You get to play cards, board games, video games, sports. You get a reason to go do an endless amount of fun things. You get to buy pets for the kids and bake cookies for your kids. And I can go on and on. Number six, you get the most loyal best friend. You know when you were a teen and your friends were unreliable and you couldn't get someone to do something with you and when you did, they'd be downers? Friend quality tends to improve with age, but it's never ideal. When you're a kid, you get the most loyal best friend. Oh, no. When you... But when you have a kid, you get the most loyal best friend who is super enthusiastic about anything you'd want to do for a good... 12 years. Number seven, I want someone I could raise, feed, clothe them, teach, protect, and etc. Except going to an adopted center. What the fuck? I want someone I could raise, feed, clothe them, teach them, protect, and etc. Except going to an to a adopted center. Do it for the already existed kid kids yeah number eight they want someone inherent they want someone inheritances after they pass away number nine they want to have a junior number 10 it can improve your relationship number 11 they want purpose number 12 because they're unhappy with their lives and think a child will make everything better number 13 because they want unconditional love number 14 because they just love all that cute baby slash kitty stuff number 16 oh God, this is fucking agonizing. Number 16, because they're religious fanatics trying to show off their devotion and martyrdom by having a huge family. Number 17, because they've made an industry out of their families, i.e. the Dugas, the Kardashians, Mama June, various mommy bloggers. Number 18, to trap their partner. Number 19, to get more welfare money. I know that's a Republican canard, but that doesn't mean it never happens. Holy fuck, this was agonizing. Oh, this one? I'm probably not even going to take as much time as I did before. Even though he's written a lot more, it's just like the same recycled garbage. Number one, having kids is by definition selfish because you're propagating your genes. Unless you've left a mark on history, having children is the only way you'll be remembered to be on the grave, both physically and metaphysically. Children are basically a diluted form of immortality. You sick fuck. Children are basically a diluted form of... Why the fuck would immortality on this fucking reality, on this plane of existence, be something you want to chase? That is just demented to me. And he knows it in its first point. Having kids is by definition selfish. The rest of the points he lists are just that. You, 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 you. Literally, every, every single one of them, right? I'll say this, fuck history, right? Fuck history. Fuck leaving my mark. My mark on history is me saying fuck history. That's what it is. History is a good enough reason to keep having kids? Really? Really? Ugh. Please. 
and 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 this in fact what episode was it episode three yes episode three on dumb shit natalists say that's <laughs> literally i covered that so i'm not even gonna go too much into that one you will be unconditionally loved demonstrably false demonstrably false like i don't even have to go into why your children will take care of there we go your children will take care of you when you're old so you're basically giving birth to aged care your own personal aged care servants do you not see how sick do you know how do you see how it easy it is for people to um, rationalize slavery in their minds even in this modern day it's so easy because they say things like this so stupidly you will take care of your children no your children will take care of you when you're old chances are if you're that old and in need of care you're going to go to the professionals right that is what happens you're either going to end up in hospital for long periods of time and your children will come and see you or you'll be have a, a private home care or something your children like this was a thing a long time ago for if you're sick you home care right home care was a it, it, it did exist but post the industrial the post industrial era eliminated that you're less likely to die surrounded by your exotic bird collection rotting in your home for weeks. Do you see how what, what kind of a catastrophic mindset it takes to rationalize such stupid arguments? Like, I've seen stories like this, yes. But it's like, oh, you know, if only she had a child, like, so if only she had a child, like, <sighs> this is so ignorant because plenty of children have walked in on their parents after they've committed suicide or after their parents have butchered their children their, their siblings or their spouse or something right plenty of people have died without their with, without being in reach without their children being in reach of them to assist them in their in their time of need this is such this is such uh it's such a uh I'd say it's part of a God complex, honestly, because, yeah, I'll live to be so old and my children will take it. Like, how the fuck, how fucking sure are you, right? This is, a, this is a direct product of modernity, direct, because the average life expectancy has skyrocketed within the past 200 years. Before that, like, yeah, people would still have kids and everything, but, like, man, you get to the age of 40 and just drop dead. Like, then half your kids would probably get to the age of, like, five and drop dead, right? Let alone you. Right? Ridiculous argument. Um, you get to see a human develop from start to finish. Oh, get fucked, man. You get to see that literally every day. You just don't have your own personal one to fucking indoctrinate. Kids are fun. I'm going to have kids because kids are fun. Right? This is why I'm not going to spend much on this because it's it's stupid. Right? You get the most loyal best friend. This is like uh, the, the, the previous one. He said, um, you will be unconditionally loved. Uh, and it just, this person is really sad. When you have a kid, you get the most loyal best friend who's super enthusiastic about anything, anything you want to do for a good 12 years. Anything? I doubt it, right? Because this is a fundamental lack in not realizing that children are individuals and they have their own individual personal tastes, right? The personal likes and dislikes and their own strengths and weaknesses. And the gut reaction is to, to, to paint the child as like a spoiled screaming brat who just wants to eat candy at every meal or something. That's obviously not what I mean, right? If a child doesn't want to play basketball or play football or play the piano, he's not going to want to do it. You forcing him to do that or her to do that is going to, that is the beginning of their self-hatred journey, right? And more of the times they're doing it out of fear, right? If I don't do this, I might get hit or I might something, you know, some sort of punishment. And, and it's something you want to do. It's not something they want to do, right? Garbage argument, absolute garbage. I want someone, yeah, yeah. I want someone I could raise, feed, clothe them, teach, protect, except going to an adopted center, do it for the already existed, oh, except, did you guys lose this game or did the Jazz win this one? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man.
That nigga's tripping. Well, yeah, I couldn't understand this argument before, and I still can't. What the fuck were you trying? So you basically want someone to feed, clothe, and teach. You basically want your own personal pet. You want a pet that you can legally beat up, or you can legally... You, you want a pet you can indoctrinate, right? That's what you want. Feed, clothe, teach, protect. Like, like go be a fucking teacher, you know? Feed, go feed the homeless. Clothe them, go give the clothes to the homeless kids. Go feed homeless kids, go teach kids. Protect? I'd say go work in child protective custody, but those places are just as demonic as like the Catholic Church, to be honest. Except going to an adopted center, do it for the already existed kids. I, I don't understand that, I don't. They want someone inheritances as they, uh, they want someone inheritances after, I, th I think, they were trying to say they want someone to inherit. They want to pass on their inheritance after they pass away. That, again, episode three. Refer to episode three of Dumb Shit Needless Say. They want to have a junior. Stupid idiot. Just a stupid idiot. Like, I want to have a mini-me. Ugh. I might have to make a separate video for this one. It can improve. Okay, yeah. In fact, I don't really. Do. That's a just. Uh, you want to indoctrinate somebody. You want to indoctrinate somebody to the point where they reflect just you and only you. How nice. It can improve your relationship. It can also destroy your relationship, and it often does, right? And the kids, either they explicitly get blamed or they blame themselves for why their parents' relationship broke apart, right? This is just stupid. They want purpose. Go fuck yourself. How about that? They want purpose. Ugh. Stupid, like, just stupid argument, really. This is part of my legacy. Because they're unhappy with their lives and think a child will make everything, this is just, they want unconditional, yeah, now they're just repeating themselves. Because they just love all that cute baby kitty stuff. It, 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 just idiocy. They're, because they want someone to take care of them when they're old. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, this, the rest of this, yeah, they, 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 they don't even, this doesn't even make any sense anymore. Like, what the fuck? They're just repeating themselves, which is what they often do. Because they made an industry out of their families, my legacy, right? Because they're religious fanatics trying to show off their devotion and martyrdom by having a huge family, still my legacy. To trap their partner, that's sick. That's fucked up. To get more welfare money, that's fucked up. And it happens. And it's still just as fucked up. That's not a legitimate reason to have a kid. That just that demonstrates that you have no capacity to even raise a child, right? So uh, I didn't spend too much time on that one, hopefully, but it was still just as idiotic. Jesus Christ, ugh, oh, man. And this is one of the top answers on Cora for response to antinatalism.